early siestas could be good for our brains. That's right. So as our um, our follicles tend to <laughs> harden, our brains, brains tend to shrink as we age. But a new study published in the journal Sleep Health finds napping may slow that process. Researchers at University College London looked at data on people ages 40 to 69 and found that those who were genetically programmed to nap had larger total brain volumes, a marker of good brain health and lower risk of dementia and other diseases. In fact, the difference in brain volume between the habitual nappers and the non-habitual nappers was equivalent to two and a half to six and a half years of aging. Wow. So sleep experts say studies like these demonstrate the health benefits of napping, that these studies can really reduce the stigma that people often have around daytime napping. The stigma is that you're lazy, right? I'm guilty of this. Yeah. I saw my husband napping the other day. I was like, get oh, up and do something. Yeah. You don't nap? I do occasionally. I could, be, I could be asleep in five minutes in this chair with these <laughs> lights on and everybody around. Okay, Paula, you have Let's to take over to now. Test, exactly. Right? We fully Doctor. support nap culture. That's right. Well, you'll find me asleep here in five minutes. By the way, if you have a question for Dr. Malika about anything, 312-332-3776.